What is Automated Market Maker and how it actually works? An automated market maker allows traders to buy and sell specific coins based on an algorithm that determines how much something should cost based on its availability. When demand is high, it becomes more expensive. And if you sell a large number of coins, you will receive less money as demand gradually decreases. It's all about demand and supply, but this time an algorithm is being used instead of a person. To properly understand how an automated market maker works, we must first go through some examples and simple calculations. Assume you are a t-shirt maker and you get tired of making t-shirts every day. You don't want to see t-shirts anymore even though you can make interesting designs out of it. So you live in a community where everyone has their own t-shirt making business, which means you can't trade your t-shirts against anything else in your community. It would be fantastic if you could exchange your t-shirts for something else, such as jeans. Here comes a businessman who told you that I came from a community where everyone has a jeans making business and they are sick of it. I am here to see if you would like to invest in a trade. Now your wish is coming true and you have chance. So you said yes to the businessman, so he says, jeans makers put 20,000 jeans in my jeans t-shirts exchange business. So if you can give me 20,000 t-shirts, we can get started. And they started trading with businessmen by giving him 20,000 t-shirts. The businessman then says, I have a go down where all the jeans and t-shirts are there with me to keep them safe. But he wants to keep the perfect ratio of the values for both of these. He says that since we put in 20,000 jeans and 20,000 t-shirts together, he wants to always multiply these in equal ratio, which is 400 million, which is equal to 20,000 times 20,000. This way, if one month there is less jeans production, the jeans will cost more to buy. The go down act is formula for an automated market maker known as the constant product automated market maker. It utilizes the inverse formula X times Y equals to K, where X and Y represent the number of assets, and K is a constant that never changes. It remains unchanged. K is 400 million in this case. Let us look at another example. Now, a businessman says, because I priced them both at $1, there is now a perfect 50-50 ratio of t-shirts to jeans. When you start trading, one of these may become more valuable, as those will price more than a dollar. Now, there are 20,000 jeans and 20,000 t-shirts in a go-down which equals 400 million. So let's say a t-shirt maker comes with 4,000 t-shirts and gives it to the go down and waits while the go down figures out how many jeans to give him in return. Currently we have 24,000 t-shirts in go down. So let's start the math now. We take 400 million divided by 24,000, which is 16,666. So this is the number of jeans should be left over and go down. However, there was 20,000 jeans, so we need to find the difference and give the difference amount to T-shirt maker, which is 20,000 minus 16,666, which is 3,334 jeans. Go down will give 3,334 jeans to T-shirt maker. Now if you get confused why we give only 3,334 jeans in exchange of 4,000 t-shirts, as the more jeans were bought they will become more expensive. This is why t-shirt maker didn't get exactly same amount of jeans in return. Now there are 24,000 t-shirts and 16,666 jeans in go down and we don't want to upset go down so 1666 into 24,000 is equal to 400 million which is constant. The go down is still happy. Here we need to know how much each asset costs in USD. As businessman keeps jeans and t-shirt at $1 in the beginning. Now assume 20,000 of jeans in the beginning. So go down keeps it constant at 20,000 by pricing it $1 in the beginning. So we are keeping 20,000 constant. This is how much each asset should get equal. So 20,000 over 24,000 t-shirts, bringing its price 83.3 pennies per t-shirt. It's dropped because someone brought a lot of t-shirts into a go down. The go down is actually a liquidity pool, so it's a simple demand and supply situation where the more there is, the less it costs, and the less there is, the more it costs. Currently, the cost of jeans is 20,000 over 16,666, which is $1.20 per jeans, and it is getting more expensive because there is less liquidity available. Let's look at one more example. The t-shirt maker adds 8,000 t-shirts to the liquidity pool which means that the liquidity pool now has 32,000 t-shirts. The calculation or formula used to determine how many jeans to return to the t-shirt maker is 400 million divided by 32,000, which is equal to 12,500, meaning that there should be 12,500 jeans in the liquidity pool. The difference is 1666 minus 12,500, which is 4166, 
and it represents the number of jeans the t-shirt maker will receive in return, which means this time he paid many more for jeans. Liquidity pool charges more to him. That is why it never run out of stock. Now that there are 32,000 t-shirts and 12,500 jeans, the price of a t-shirt will decrease to 62.5 pennies per t-shirt, and the cost of a jeans will increase to $1.6, and both quantities are equal to 400 million at the liquidity pool, meaning the algorithm is also satisfied. This means that everything depends on supply and demand, and though you should also be aware that the liquidity pool rewards investors, and these investors are the ones who initially invested their money in the liquidity pool. They give those investors a small fraction of each trade that happens on their platform. This is how investors make money out of it. And this is how automated market maker method work. We sincerely hope you learned a lot from this video on automated market makers. Until then, we look forward to seeing you in our upcoming video. Thank you so much.